if you didn't know already, you know now. Give me a second to put my headphones on. Give me a second, just a second. The headphones have been put on. Oh, let me unmute this. But if you ain't know, Bloodlines, the Naruto game that I'm pretty much, I'm not really that excited for it, but I'm curious to see how it plays out is releasing tomorrow. Now, the owner of the game, Arkham Deluxe, has already showed various leaks. Like, as in videos, combat, I showed it in my last Bloodlines video and whatnot. So, I'm excited to see how the game play out and whatnot. Um, it's, it's looking pretty promising. A rogue lineage-like um, Naruto's not CC public game, which is what is interesting to me. And I've I seen a lot of feedback on the video. A lot of people's main thing was, y'all hate permadeath. I hate permadeath too. I think, bro, I think these devs have been brainwashed by the permadeath schematic, man. It's just, it's it's not a public concept, bro. It just doesn't work well in public games, man. Rogue did it all right, but that's a, that's one of the reasons why so many people didn't like Rogue because you're doing all this progress that takes a long time just to lose it. <laughs> so it's like, it's not even, it, it would, it, here's the thing, here's how to make permadeath work. It, it works if the progression is fast. You know what I'm saying? It progresses. It, it don't take that long. You feel me? But if you got a game where you got to take at least like three hours to get to the base class, and then if you if I die once, I have a risk of losing all that progress. That's crazy. That's why most people do not like permadeath games, and that's I mean I I, I think that's a I think that's a valid reason to be honest. Yeah, you can people go always you know the the, the dumbass are always always gonna say just get good, don't die. Bro, fuck up, bro. Shit happens. Bugs happen. You die to mobs. You die to exploiter. When they die to exploiters, don't be saying, oh, just don't die. You feel me? This shit happens, man. It's not always just because of a skill issue you die. You feel me? Type shit. So it's just like, it, it works in most games, man. But it just, no, I mean, it doesn't work in most games. And, and that's why most people just don't like it. You know, because you're, you're doing all this progress just to lose your data from for one mistake. For example, even for the sweats. Let's say you a sweaty ass nigga that that, that 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 could go crazy in the PvP, bro. You you make you make one mistake in a fight and and the dude gets the edge on you and kills you. What then? And let's say you on your last life. What then? The, you know the you know the sweaty road leads. gonna be like, why are you fighting on your last life? This that, that, that. man. Shut up, man. Y'all just can't admit that y'all wrong, bro. It's it's not a good concept for public games, man. It, it, it's more for like the it's the CC game aspect, man. Like, it's a CC concept, in my opinion. It's it, a closed community, if y'all don't know what CC means. It's, closed, it's a closed community concept. That's where it really accelerates that. Because it's like, it's like, for example, when somebody wipes in a CC game, they're wiping, they're wiping holds weight type shit. Like, oh no, this strong ass nigga just wiped. Compared to like a, a, a shadow clone nigga, a shadow clone nigga in a public game that just wiped the regular fucking Oni build. Imagine like if, you know... In a CC game where where niggas names hold weight like oh this is like the the um the best only in the CC type you know what I'm saying it holds weight when he wipes like it's like oh shit nah this is a big event type it's like you know it, it becomes something but just a regular nigga playing bro it's not it's there's no lore behind the nigga wiping you just a regular player that wiped you feel me so it, it's just not a con it's not a concept that works bro and that's why people hate it but back to what I was saying. I'm excited to see how Bloodline plays out. What the? I don't even know what the fuck I'm fighting. I just joined Shindo Life to, you know, to be playing a Naruto game while I'm talking about a new release Naruto game, and I don't know what the fuck I'm fighting. Quite frank, to be quite frank with you. Anyway, um, it releases tomorrow, July 8th. I'm not sure what time it releases on. Bruh! I'm not sure what time it releases on July 8th, but it's releasing 100% tomorrow for three. I think it was 200 to 300 Robux, which is why I don't think it's going to do as good because 300 robux for a c not as basic it's basically gonna feel like cc shit because nobody ain't buying it bro let, let, let me not be a hating ass nigga bro what you know what i'm saying people gonna probably buy it you know but cc for a you know a a, a permadeath game that people are already complaining that it's permadeath about you know i don't know if it's gonna do that crazy i, I hope it do because you know that's content for your boy but i don't think it's gonna do that crazy man i, w I wish the game luck man and it, it looks it doesn't look visually appealing, but it looks like it could be some fun. So let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. I'm going to leave all the links you need to know about the game and whatnot in the description. This is being Homie Sage. Bloodlines, the Naruto game, is releasing tomorrow, July 8th. Don't miss it.